and take five. <laughs> okay, hey guys, welcome back with a video with Linksy. Uh, today, it's, this is the fifth time I'm trying to record something. I uh, had anything from crashes, uh, lagging, stopping recording, corrupted files. Uh, frustrating. Anyway, I have something really fun for you guys. I have a Masisli versus Rome field battle, which should be short, should be speed, sweet and fantastic. This is taken out of my live streams, it's fighting against one of you guys, and it's definitely fun. I'm fighting against Rome, which is bringing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, armored legionaries, five legionary cavalry, three Syrian archers, and of course the legatus. I myself am bringing some caps as well, some new engine riders. I'm building some nice chariots. I have 40 chariots because you can get that many chariots with the Masaisley armored uh, chariots. And of course, I'm bringing some simple thick boys, like some simp boys. Oh god, simp boys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna end up calling this the simp boys. Um, and I'm moving in in a formation which is, uh, honestly, this, this formation that I like using is a throwback kind of from, throwback, Jesus Christ, as if I was there. It's, it's using Hannibal's technique of having a really strong uh, flanking uh, side, a thin front line, and some skirmishers again to just envelop the enemy as best as I can. My idea is I need to envelop the enemy's front line and one of his flanks will collapse ideally and then i'll just be able to rear charge to my heart's content at his army now over here i'm just playing uh, you know moving my cav close enough to try and bait him so he can come towards me and at the same time i'm moving my elephants close to i to bait his cab now what he's doing very well is that he's keeping his cab to the flanks and not taking the bait it's fantastic but he also he used the triplace axis uh, formation which is the standard formation given to you but normally it is a shit formation to use in Rome. Absolutely trash. But in this scenario, it's actually very effective because it gives him the maneuverability that he needs and the gaps between his formation aren't that big. His units are armored legionaries and they're strong enough. I believe this is where the game starts shifting um, significantly with this calf charge over here, which I believe he gets, yeah. He gets in very close and I'm able to use my Pila and I charge his troops. Those Pila throws have like do so much damage to like he lost what? Um, 13 of his units in one go and that's very bad for him. Now from my end the mistake I do I keep charging forward without any support. I'm trying to micromanage this side. I'm trying to micromanage everything. Not the smartest idea. Uh, not the smartest tool in chat I am sometimes. And then I reform the, the rank and try to come up with an idea on how to deal with this. Now, I hate this when this happens, but sometimes your calf decides to take a stroll. These guys have really nice tattoos. Um, decide to take a stroll and you end up not being able to control them properly. Yeah, I don't know why when you double click, sometimes they start walking slowly. There you go. And uh, yeah, I got rear charged, but at this point it's like you know let's go let's go let's go i put up on my troops to start moving forward faster bringing my elephants down to his rear and trying to get my chariots into his backside he automatically pulls one of his reserve armored legionnaires and starts trying to contest my push of the median riders which are not running yeah there they are they're running and i'm trying to get a charge with those syrian archers while i'm keeping two of his units engaged on this side my chariots are not having a good time uh, here. I don't know why they stopped charging. They might have been still in uh, missile mode, but th those missiles will definitely come in clutch later on in the game. These Norwegian riders are not having a fun time. I did manage to get his general and uh, damage some Syrian archers, but as soon as my units are about to break on this flank, um, I'm getting my tick poison and they're getting a lot of kills off the bat. They do really well against cavalry and they're managing to do that in fashion. I also noticed that this unit of Desert Legionnaires was slightly out of position, so I take the opportunity and I charge in, and that is amazing. My uh, chariots on this side are not having a fun time at all, but I'm able to get a good rear charge into these Desert Legionnaires, and I'm getting a few decent kills just charging here and there, wrecking 
wrecking as many troops as possible and just damaging all that I can damage with what I have. I get 100 kills, which is fantastic for the situation we're in. As we're saying that my desert legions, uh, desert legions, my desert cohort engages the front line and my other um, chariots works. So in all, it's going really well. I have outflanked him on this side and I'm kind of beating his troops back. He's out of position. My elephants are going rampaging in his ranks. I'm pulling some troops in reserve. My center is collapsing a bit too fast. Um, considering that I'm trying to envelop him. And uh, so I just put some more troops in the center to try and hold that flank as his Syrian archers are getting peppered down by my major skirmishers. My general unit is coming to this flank and gets a really good charge into these legionnaires. But really and truly what I wanted to get were these Syrian archers, which are now engaged with my general. My general keeps charging forward, but that's fantastic. My chariots at the same time get a lovely side charge into those units of armored legionnaires. Now, I got myself heavy enemy legion skirmishers for this reason, because I knew if there were cavalry, he's gonna go straight for my missile troops. And even though he got a really good charge, most of them get back up, because they have 43 melee defense. Uh, how much armor? 45 armor. So, you know, it, it, it nullifies half the damage taken. Um, I noticed that his this legionnaire, 60 units, is running away, but I need to kill it before it does come back and as I'm saying that I'm breaking his units left right and center my second chariots got 170 kills 180 kills even and my general unit over here is having a field day ramming into the rear of the Romans now finally the Roman lines are collapsing my missile units are fighting to their hearts content getting a lot of damage in and uh, even though the Roman uh, player is coming back from this I believe that combined troops that I have left, it will be very difficult for him to break what I got. That said, he does, does manage to break this flank over here and starts charging in, but that might not be enough at this point. His general is dead, his troops are dying, I'm breaking, you know, so many. My general is running freely in his rear and rear charging his troops um, repeatedly, cycle charging here and there, wherever I see an opportunity, I tra jump in. Uh, my desert cohorts are not holding very well against this. They, I mean, they're not meant to, they're meant to just hold in, so my cavalry does the work. Unfortunately, most of my cav got annihilated in the beginning. I lost a lot of cavalry over here, but I did get enough kills that his units are faltering. My uh, general is at 170 kills, fantastic for a general unit. And uh, I'm breaking this side, I'm freeing up a lot more units. My unit of Desert Cohort, which is pretty much, uh, it's just wind, winded, wind, winded. Um, but it's coming back into the battle. And I believe this is pretty much game. I mean, yes, he does have troops running around here and there, but I'm slowly picking them off. He doesn't have anything that can really catch my des uh, Desert Armored Numidian. Desert Armored. Je Jesus Christ, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Words are not coming out of my mouth. The Median Riders are just having a field, uh, field day, just running around. They're shock cavalry, so they're fantastic. My general is having, uh, managing to survive. I'm down more, less than half health, but it is still holding on. And he does not have much left. He does have a few units here and there that are holding, but they're not really doing that much. The skirmishers definitely could have gotten more kills, but they did their job. I picked off really important units and high value units. This game could have gone completely different if I did. He managed to save his Syrian archers, or um, you know, deny my charges with the elephants, because the elephants got 200 kills of very high tier units, and his, you know, he, he, I lost a lot of cav in the back over this side. But as you can see, entire units were wiped out almost instantly. I break this legionary cavalry on this side, and finally he gets army loss penalties and. This is GG. It was a fun game. I really enjoyed it. I do enjoy one-to-one -one, uh, field battles because uh, with rules, it, it does is a testament of skill as well. I'm not saying that I'm very skilled. I'm just saying that you know, th even though I managed to have half, half of my army survive, this game was decided like in the initial charges, and he actually um, he made a small mistake. I made a big blunder with my cav and. At the same time, that blunder turned into a, a, an advantage for me because if you look at my cavalry, with the exception of the mid, the light the medium riders, because they're good at all the deployed units, they're they're very light. They're meant to be just destruction, 
my chariot's got a lot of kills, my elephant got a lot of kills, and my general, between them, they almost got 800 kills. Uh, yeah, cavalry basically got 800 kills behind between them, and that is half of the enemy's army gone. My desert cohort, they're still alive, but they would not have held against his armored legionaries, not in a long shot. And look at how few kills his Syrian archers got. That is the important part. So I have done differently from his end. I might have gotten a couple less uh, units of, um, uh, what you call them, of legionary cavalry, maybe gotten two units less of armored legionaries, got a Praetorian guard, two Praetorian guard units, and maybe um, two Cretan archers, or maybe uh, Cretan archers, sorry, uh, uh, Iberian slingers, that's what I was going for. Uh, two slinger units, and that would have been very good to deal with my light cav and my especially my uh, chariot and then for the elephants you know just, he needed to be a bit more on point but i had already charged his archers before i charged my elephants and that's why he got neutralized hope you guys like this it's a short video today i'm gonna be live streaming later on today i'm gonna try to convince everyone to play shogun at least a game or two of shogun tonight and then we'll see from there hope you guys have fun subscribe to the channel like comment yada 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 most importantly, send me your games. I want to see your games and I want to um, custom. Take care, have a nice day and bye-bye.